Well, there's one under this. I'm fairly confident of that. That was such a nice snake. I wish we yeah, could have gotten better cool. pictures of it. Sorry. Okay. Happens. There's a rat snake and a copperhead, a double flip. Two copperheads. Two copperheads. Oh, there we go. An AOR red-bellied snake to start out the day. It's nothing we can't find at home, but nice to see new snakes in new places. Cool black tails red-bellied snake to start off the day. We'll get him out of the road. Oh, a corn. Nice. I'll get you to hold that. Oh, there's a guy. How's it going? We're catching snakes. Yes, sir. Huh? We're catching snakes. We're just looking for snakes, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's a corn snake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Yeah, if you want to touch it. Here, I'll hold the head if you want to touch the tail. <laughs> you don't. You don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We take pictures of them. Let them go. Yeah. That was harmless. Yeah. They. They can't. This species can't hurt you. Yeah. Yeah. You see him around here? Oh, he's got me. <laughs> no, they're harmless. <laughs> All right, well, there's our first snake of the day. There we go. Oh, we might actually could have shed out. No, I wasn't either. All right, well, that was an interesting encounter with the uh, the guy at that last building. I uh, was not expecting a person to come out of there, so I uh, didn't get the best look at that corn snake. You know, he seemed friendly enough. So similar, but different at the same time. I'm hoping to get out while I'm in Arkansas. Yeah, that's going to be cool. You s There's a copperhead? Oh, sure enough. There's two. What the? What are, what's happening? They're just having a, they're having a little, well, nice spot. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, there's just uh, a copperhead following another copperhead right here that Ian and I walked right past and Caitlin spotted. That's cool. Well, snakes are definitely out in the open today, but uh, hopefully they'll be under 10 too, because that's what we're here to do, but. If 10 flipping fails, we'll probably do a little bit more road cruising. Um, but definitely nice to start off the day with a couple of snakes already. We still got a lot of stuff to do, so let's get to it. The topper heads are crawling this morning. There's one in the road. He can't get up the embankment. Look at this guy. You got it. You can do it. I believe in you. It's copperhead number three. Oh, there he goes. A little bit of ingenuity there. Hey everyone, I wanted to take a quick break from today's episode to tell you guys about something really cool we have going on. I recently joined Ben Stiganga from the Orient Society on an Eastern Indigo Snake Survey in the field. We had a really good day and found some awesome snakes, and I filmed this clip with one of the animals we found. So here I am with that snake giving you guys some information about our 2023 Giving Tuesday raffle for snake conservation. Is this something that you would like to see in the wild? because I think this is a pretty cool snake. And uh, this is one of the species that we're gonna be targeting on the, uh, the raffle winner's uh, field outing, which is gonna be a two-day trip with myself and Ben, who's behind the camera right now. We'll have a very good chance of seeing not only an indigo in the wild, but also the world's biggest rattlesnake, the Eastern Diamondback. This one's pretty big, but it's still a, you know, a moderately sized individual. They get a lot bigger. 
and last year we actually found the biggest rattlesnake I have ever seen on the, in the wild on the uh, raffle winner's trip. So lots of potential for really cool snakes in the wild if you are one of the lucky winners of the raffle. So consider buying a ticket or as many as you'd like to uh, increase your chances of winning. Along with the field outing, there's gonna be a lot of other cool prizes such as field guides and uh, photography prints and Orient Society merchandise. So check out the link below for raffle tickets. Tickets are $10 each, but you can also get five for $45 or 10 for 90. And once again, all of the proceeds of this raffle go towards the Orient Society and their efforts to study and conserve reptiles and amphibians. Thank you guys so much for your support and back to today's video. This was the Navy Act. Ah. It's there he is. Dude, what? No way. Is there a copperhead somewhere? Dude, there he is. That's so weird. That's so cool. Slimy salamander recapture. He's pretty uh he's pretty easy to recognize. His copperhead counterpart was not there today. In fact, we haven't flipped a single whoop. Haven't flipped a single copperhead, but I'll put this guy down before I get slimed too much. All right, well, Caitlin's the only person that can find snakes today, apparently. She just spotted a racer. First racer of the day, right here in Habitat. We'll just leave him right there. I'm sure we'll see more. If not today, maybe later on this trip. All right, we've been flipping for a few more hours, and it seems like the flipping today is just not on. Um, it was decent first thing this morning, but since then it's been kind of dead. We have seen a few snakes out walking around, but not much under 10, so we'll probably go road cruise after we flip a few more pieces. It's coming your way. Race yep, it's going right. It's under. right under your foot. It's under the log. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you could see that on camera. Oh yeah, there he goes. That's a big one. He's in shed. That's the only thing I can think of. There we go. First copperhead. Oh, man, he was quick to uh, quick to leave. All right. Well, the flipping has uh has not been great, and as you can see, this guy is quite warm and uh, did not want to sit, so we'll leave him to it. A cool little stingy boy. Ian says this is an IO moth caterpillar. Definitely looks like it would sting. So don't touch these guys. Oh, there's going to be a possum under here. I don't think there's a single piece out here that I've never seen a snake. Really? Oh, there's a cane. <laughs> he, uh, you can actually see him. He's basking when the when the tens down. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Nice. Well, I'm glad we stuck it out. Despite the uh, complete lack of snakes um, under 10, we did manage to flip uh, two copperheads, one of which I didn't show, and this guy, who we have now gotten out in the open. This guy has a super cool pattern. Look at that. That is so weird looking. You didn't bet on it. <laughs> you don't think? I'm here for the optimism. Well, there's one under this. I'm fairly confident of that. That was such a nice snake. I wish we yeah, could have gotten better cool. pictures of it. Sorry. Good. Happens. There's a rat snake and a copperhead, a double flip. Two copperheads. Two copperheads. Sure enough. Beautiful. No no hidden ones, right? Not that I see. I'm caught in this vine. Try to get, that's a pretty rat. All right, well there we go. We got a copperhead double, and then under the same piece, a nice rat snake, which I'll show you more of in a second when I'm done. Can you not? I'm being chased. Oh, it's, it's terrifying. Look at this one though. Very nice. We'll uh, leave these guys to it and I'll show you the rat snake. Well, we have, uh, in, over the course of two tin sheets, somehow turned our entire day of flipping around. I mean, not that it's still not been a little bit slow, but nice triple flip, beautiful greenish rat snake. First one we have seen today. 
we'll let him back under his tent with his copperhead friends and continue on. Are you going to bite me? Kind of looks like he's thinking about biting me. All right, we'll let him go. This one's got something under it, right? Not. Some s scales. A knoll. Get out of there. Oh, there's a, a brumating skink right there. You see it? It's like, he's he hit the he hit the sack a little bit early. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Caitlin is just killing it today. We just flipped this piece of tin, didn't see anything, and somehow she saw that guy just chilling. Our next copperhead. I should have had one. There's a red-bellied snake. Nice one. Yeah, little guy. Know how well he's going to show up on the GoPro. Show mercy on my soul, cane breaks. Damn. Copperhead. Oh yeah, pretty little guy. Look at that hole. And he goes into it. <laughs> Might see if I can get some video of him. Since he is uh, apparently unable to escape. Oh. <laughs> Ventral scales. Well, that's a beautiful snake. He's definitely not happy with us. And is uh, currently chasing me, as people like to say. Really just trying to escape, of course. But we'll uh, lower his piece and he can go back under there. There you go. See, my shoe's right there, and no desire to bite me once he knows he can escape. There's a quail in the road. Oh, yeah, there are a couple of them. I can see those guys over on the edge. Ian's trying to make friends. Yo! That's my first South Carolina pygmy, or actually, no, it's my second one, but my first from this area. <laughs> so cool looking. These guys are actually kind of an interesting integrated looking thing between a dusky and a Carolina pygmy. Definitely leaning a little bit more dusky, but still not quite what we're used to seeing in other areas of the dusky pygmy rattlesnakes range, so really cool. All right, well, the light is definitely fading, so it's not the best video, but that is a really cool snake to potentially end the day on if we don't cruise anything else. It's about to get dark, so um, if we find another snake, I'll break out the flashlight, but if not, that might be our last find of the day. My first uh, dusky-ish pygmy rattlesnake from South Carolina. Really, really cool. We'll just uh, leave him here on the side of the road and keep cruising. It's time. Oh, my flashlight's dying. Pretty little garter snake. This year's baby. Got some kind of nice checkerboarding going. A little bit different than what we see at home. Bro. All right, there we go. Snake number three, a stunning little cottonmouth. Look at that guy. Beautiful. Out of the road with him. Goofy little guy. All right. Let's go! A big eastern glass lizard. We had one of these get run over in front of us a little bit ago, so definitely nice to actually get a live one. These guys are quite common, especially here in coastal South Carolina, coastal Georgia. Really anywhere you're near the coast, they become really, really common, but still one of my favorite groups of animals and something i'm always stoked to see so we'll get this guy out of the road so since this guy's being cooperative i can actually show you this which i don't get to do very often because glass lizards tend to be a little freaky sometimes and like to just never stop moving and you got to be very careful when you're handling them because they will actually break their tails very easily but this guy it's very chill and you can see right there that little line is his cloaca which is his his reptile butt 
and uh, where that that mark right there, where my pinky is basically, is where his uh, where his body ends and his tail begins. So everywhere below my pinky is tail. Well, there he goes. Typical glass lizard behavior has uh, began. <laughs> Just, he's just, oh, there he goes. I was about to say, he just disappeared in that little spot. And there we have our third species of viper on this road. And goodness gracious, is that a handsome copperhead. Look at him. That is gorgeous. Look at his spot. We did see four of the five vipers in South Carolina today, though. That's pretty cool. At least in, uh, in this part of South Carolina. Only missing the diamondback, and that's a little bit of a, a little bit of an ass around these parks. Look at that. After dark. That's gorgeous. What a good looking snake. There's a car coming though, way down there, so we'll get him out of the road. And we have another garter snake. This one's kind of weird looking. Almost looks like a brown snake or like a, a western terrestrial wandering garter snake. Just a weird looking eastern though. This might be our last snake of the night. We're almost back to the highway and at that point we are going to probably call it a night. Full moon. And the snakes just keep coming. Oh, my flashlight's still dead, but garter snake number three of this pass. Nice. That one's very dark. There he goes. Well, we're on our way home from South Carolina, and uh, it's just getting dark. It's fairly warm, about 68 degrees, and right down the road from home, there is a small, young king snake in the road. <laughs> and uh, what what's today, like the 29th of October? So almost November, and uh, there's an eastern king snake crossing the road right at dusk here uh, to kind of end a really awesome trip. Well, that is so cool. We do not night cruise a lot of king snakes around here. So to cruise one this late in the year, possibly one of our last snakes uh, on the road after dark in this part of the country for uh, 2023. And it's a good one. Beautiful Eastern king snake. We'll get him out of the road. And uh, I'm probably gonna wrap this episode up here. It's been a great trip, albeit a little bit shorter than we were originally planning. Some uh, unforeseen things came up and we had to come home a little bit early. But I mean, if that hadn't happened, we wouldn't have found this guy. So can't really complain about it. We'll get him out of the road and uh, wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'll leave you with one last look at this snake before I see you in the next episode. Hopefully we have a couple more weeks of decent herping before winter really sets in. So I'm looking forward to seeing what else we can turn up. So it's actually a little bit cooler than I thought, 66 degrees. And uh, it's not even really completely dark.